Welcome back to Celebrity Radio. It's Alex Belfield. You're talking to the stars of one of the best touring shows in recent history and one of my favourites. Two calendar girls and the stars. Hello, ladies. How are you? Hello, Hi, Alex. Hi. Oh, nice to see you. Intro, wasn't it? It's all glossy. It's very well, slick. Is it's right? sincere. That's what it is, you see. Because if yeah. I don't like a show, I'll say it. And that's why nobody likes me. Oh, I know. You can make a break because I've heard. I, I, <laughs> it's going to be a big trouble. Let's start with you because I need to tell you, you got me through puberty. I need to tell you this. You were a big part of my life. I'm nearly a 40 year old man you and you were there. The Lisa, I'm telling you, this is a big problem. Did you have, did you have yeah. me on a poster? I, did, well, I didn't have the poster, but I did have you on my telly box and all of that. I mean, you were a megastar in your day, weren't you? I was in my day, yeah, when I was about 17, Johnny Briggs, yeah. For all the school kids, yes. I know everybody quite fancied me. Young men fancied me, apparently. People still fancy you. Yeah, yeah, of course they do. I'm telling you, and that's what you've got. And I just said the same to Leslie. What Calendar Girls does is find women that are big personalities, amazing at what they do, have great voices, are great actresses and put it all together to create this magical connection and they pick you lot that's rather nice <laughs> <laughs> yeah that. there were nobody else available they said yeah. get that girl we from free. johnny briggs we yeah free. it's all about the budget <laughs> really let's talk about this new cast because i saw opening night in leeds and i fell in love with it and i wasn't the biggest fan of this when it was in london i didn't think it was the same but then they opened this tour and my god it's just so lovely and in fact a smaller show which helps because it's just so intimate and we fall in love with each one of you individually don't we well, I hope so. We do. We do try hard for that, don't we? Yeah. I mean, it's a beautiful story. And when I saw it, I fell in love with it a long time ago in London. Funny if I did. But um, the chance to play this real character and having met the real uh, Annie the other day and the real Chris, it was such a joy to meet them because it really makes sense of the story for us, doesn't it? When we're performing it, they've still got that heart to it because this is a real story. That's what's beautiful about it. And again, you're all so different, but you're all so brilliant. And then they gave Lisa Maxwell the role and we go, wow, we've got to see this yes. one. Were you thrilled when it was you? Because they could pick anybody, couldn't they? We were. We were thrilled. We were thrilled. Ah, uh -huh. well, there's your answer. <laughs> we'll leave it there, shall we? Um, I was, um, I like the song. I like the song that Celia sings. Um, Denise is a mate of mine, so I, I, you know, I'd seen it and I knew what was involved. Um, and I hadn't toured for a long time. So, um, so, so it was... Yes, I was really excited on the one hand, and on the other hand, I was really scared about touring, but also getting naked. Mm. I've never been naked in anything. And That's scary. Yeah, and I'm really, mm. I'm quite self-conscious about that sort of thing. So, um, so, so it's been a bit of a breakthrough for me. I found it quite liberating. Yeah. The girls have been brilliant, you know, because we've all gone through it together. We have sort of had a baptism of fire when we did the poster. Mm. Um, I think that's harder than doing the show. The, the poster bit was such a lot. We were naked for a yeah. long time yeah. for the poster yeah. Yeah. in a big white room in London, weren't yeah. we? God, that yeah. I think was harder than doing the quick bit in the show. I think. Yeah. I think sometimes as well as an actor, you think actually it's not me getting naked. It's Cora. So I think, well, this doesn't look like me, this is Cora, I'm, you know, it's like I put, almost put a body on. Yes, yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> yes, and I say, yes. well, the thing about yeah. my character is she's extremely well endowed and I'm not. <laughs> um, so there was all the time I'm thinking, well, the producers do know that I don't really have all the tools. So it looks like you have all the tools, don't Well, it does now because I've got the biggest chicken, of chicken fillet you've ever seen. <laughs> yeah. uh, I mean, and, they, and they weigh a ton. I've actually pulled <laughs> muscles in my neck. That's That's not like, physio I have to carry that of a, around because of a boobies being too heavy. They edit. carry me on around in real life. You know, you know what I feel I like. I really do sympathise <laughs> with you. I'd have them removed. Yeah, don't the over the shoulder boulder hole. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, so yes, it's been a bit of a, uh, an interesting experience in, in lots of different ways. Have to say. Say the best thing, hands down, without any, with any, without any doubt, are the reactions from the audience. Mm, yeah. The women and and a lot of men too, love it. Yeah. it. It makes people cry. It makes people laugh. It gives people a chance to grieve. You know, yeah. people that have been through a cancer situation and and, and because it is a true story as well. Yeah. Mm. So you know, you really feel for the characters. Yeah. And you know, it's like death, isn't it? comes to us all and everybody knows somebody that's passed away and it's like how do you deal with it and um, and I think the women, how the women dealt with it in this little town in Yorkshire was mm. come on let's do a nude calendar mm. near Play Village mm. and it's we about. should also remind people that I mean there are big belly laughs in this as well although there is one of the most tragic bits of theatre I've ever seen the rest of it I mean you're laughing all the way through and you're making fun and funny about the whole situation because with something that's that tragic you're either going to laugh and cry and it plays with that beautifully doesn't it 
Oh, definitely, especially for the songs that I sing, because it's my husband, it's my character's husband that dies. I suppose I get the two saddest songs with Kilimanjaro and um, Scarborough. But Kilimanjaro is, it's this speak singing type of thing. And to do this new way of speak singing, which I've had to learn to do for this show, it tells a story. They've written it, you know, Tim Firth and Gary Ball have written this beautiful way of telling the story, almost singing, but not quite... And you can see people crying, well, you can see people amazing. being emotional. Yeah. And then you get the massive high. And I think it drives to this very positive high at the end of the show. So the women all come out feeling empowered, strong. There's not enough of that in showbiz. So it's lovely mm. to see women leading a show and at the yeah. end... Also, you know, you're, to your yeah. point about it not being a singy-songy, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of a massive singy-songy musical, you know, where people just suddenly start singing a song for no apparent reason. Like, I'm going to the toilet. And you're like, oh, why are you singing that? Just go and do it. Yeah, just go and, yeah, and come back after and carry on without singing for no apparent reason. But this, you get, you don't see the join. No, so literally, really you'll be talking, and yeah. then suddenly there's a piece of music that comes in, and then suddenly the the, 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 the voice starts to sort of sing on top of the music, and then it talks, and then you so don't good. even know you're in a song until you're in it. It's yeah. very clever. And what you do, you start speaking, and then all of a sudden it, it goes into a yeah. song. Yeah. So you're like, lots oh, of right. underscoring, which is incredibly important to this show. The underscoring yeah. is as important as the speaking, as you might yeah. have seen when you've seen it. All the cast are terrific, and all in your own way. And of course, you two have a similarity with the sort of Judy Garland thing. I mean, the last time I saw you, Lisa, of course, was in Over the Rainbow. And this beautiful exercise where you get to shine and again, wow the audience. And in this I think people are going to be surprised because they might just think, oh, that's the lady who sits behind a desk talking about boobs and lady parts on Loose Women, which is certainly not the case. Well, very, thank you. very talented. Oh, thank you. All the, all the ladies everyone are just is. amazing. Yeah, everyone and, is. Um, and I think once you do some th one thing on telly, it's like, oh, she presents now. Oh, she's an actress. Oh, yeah. she's a straight actress. Oh, she's because you know it's like I'm all an, of I'm us. I'm an actress. It's yeah, what I, it's what I love doing more than anything. Loose Women mm. was great fun, and um, enabled me to finish work at half past one every day because it was live, and go home and pick up my daughter from school. So it gave me a great life work balance. But it, it, being a loose woman is not a job. I mean, it, you know, <laughs> it, it's not. It's not what you know. It's a byproduct of doing something else, and and it must always be that as from my perspective. I think as well in the business, more so now than any other time, people put you in a box. They like to put you in a box. So it's like Sarah Jane, yeah. you you were doing Hollyoaks. Yeah, a lot of the generation beer. don't know I've ever done a musical. No. Because they all go, That's you it. can sing and you're on the telly. Yeah. Well, yeah, I did and train to do that. Can she yeah. sing? Oh, yeah. my goodness. Oh, amazing. She can sing. Yeah. Oh, oh, thanks. And then like no. you did the bill for ages. Yeah. I did casuality. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 The thing is, you don't get to be 50 la la and not have done anything. You know, it's... Um, and, and everybody gets to use everything they've done in their career in this show. You know, there's a bit mm. of comedy, there's a there bit is, of singing, there's a bit of drama. Um, and I've never, honestly, I swear to God, I've never known an audience engage with a show like they do mm. with this. It's beautiful. I feel yeah. proud to be a part of it, actually. So do I, every I night, do. so proud. And, and what's, what's wonderful about it is it's a cast of women. You know, I know there's men in it, our husbands, well, I've got so one, but yeah, and, the, and they're brilliant, and the kids yeah, are wonderful, but it's very rare these days that you have a show that the leads are women. And of, of a certain age. Of a certain age. And also not token casting. I have a problem when people are given jobs for being whatever they are to tick a box, and that isn't what this is about, and that's even more amazing. There's nobody in this who doesn't deserve to be. Alex, you're so controversial. I don't care, it's true. <laughs> and, <laughs> but it's true, though, isn't it? Yes. Being so, given a job. You think so everybody should be cast just on merit? I think they yeah. should. I've just been replaced by a transgender on BBC Leeds who's courted the audience and has just been signed for another contract and you say why well we know why I don't think that helps any community or that helps the radio station because they've now got a quarter of the audience since I left but maybe it's because I'm so brilliant what oh, do you think I Sarah? I think you're brilliant I think you're brilliant I th I'll give you five stars <laughs> for confidence <laughs> I mean, if, if it's, some it's very difficult though because if I was a casting director or a producer would I put names in? no I'd have the person that is right for the job right. you know but, but you wouldn't sell tickets but would I? I don't know you because I it's like sometimes my own I produce my own show, and all they want to know is who's on the headline. Mm. And when I told them it was me, it wasn't just well, easy to sell the show. To start but if to I just said them. it was somebody very famous, but in the end, your your general public, your average audience, and I don't mean that in any disrespect. 
they like to go and see people they know and that's why you put people back in the West End and you put Sheridan yeah, Smith you and you put Jason are, you know Donovan the back is? in no, no, no. the problem is the people they know now aren't performers the people no, they yeah. know are lovely I agree, I agree. they are yeah. they are I reality agree. show and winners. what do we think about this as well putting American massive stars like Pamela Anderson I have to say I'm addicted to and, Island, by the way yeah. I love Love Island <laughs> and I Priscilla am. Presley in Panto paying a hundred grand a week when the dance is on four hundred pounds a week not fair right. but who's going to change it who's going to make that you know, I always say that if I become really big, you know, they do a new series of Johnny Briggs. You're really big in yeah. my life, love. Yeah. Don't you worry about that. Listen, big in Rochdale. <laughs> but if they do it, it's like, you know. You're not big anyway. You're only four foot. Yeah, but big bad. But I think, big you know, I would, if I, like, did a big film or something like that, or a big telly and said, oh, Sue, come and do this panto and pay you 30 grand a week. You know what I'd do? I'd say, pay me two grand a week and pay the dancers more. But I that's can't me. wait for that. Will you let me know when that happens? Yeah. Now? I'll go around. I'll go you heard that here. Right. Yeah. You heard yeah. it here. Well, I'll tell your agent about that. And when yeah. he jumps off the yeah. cliff, yeah. I'll blame yeah. you. Don't you worry. Um, just yeah. said that on YouTube. Sarah, finally, I just want to congratulate you all on the sarcasm in the show. I think that's what's brilliant. Having just been up in Yorkshire last night where this is based, there's a certain type of downtrodden wit up there that this show captures, and your character particularly shines with that. You think so? There's a beautiful sarcasm, isn't there? Even the relationship between the man and woman, because in most plays it's all lovey-dovey and everybody's beautiful with six-packs. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's certainly not the case here. It's very real. No, it's, a, it's a, because it's real people. And when, you know, Tim Firth, when you meet him, he writes for real people and he, it, it's so it's so good like that that you don't feel we all have to be supermodels to be it's, in it well the, the mm. thing that's so moving about it is that it's not sentimental no it's there's not. no sentimentality in it at all it's just normal people they're not even pretending that they've done anything epic by doing this new calendar they're just normal people doing having an idea seeing it through and it was more of a surprise to them I would imagine that they, mm. they changed the world with this and they've become like it's an iconic calendar because they're just Mm. They're just like, oh, it's a, they see the humour in it as well. Yeah. Well, my favourite film ever is Brastoff, and I think it's like Brastoff without yeah. trumpets. And that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's what I think it is. Brastoff without Brass trumpets and more women. <laughs> <laughs> and more knockers. And a nice big bush of daffodils. Oh, Ladies. Sunflowers, darling. Sunflowers. Oh, sunflowers. I beg your pardon. Ladies, thank you so much for your time. I think you're all mega stars, and this show is beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. And can we just say, we're going to have a big petition for you to get your job back at the BBC. No, don't do it. No, no, I'm much happier since I've not got my job back at the oh, BBC. Okay. You don't have the job. No we don't need that. Thank you for being you, really. We need to talk. And uh, ladies, thank you. Sarah, Liz, <laughs> Sue, thank you for your time. Over to you. Thank you, Alex. It's been a pleasure, yeah, as thank always. You. Thank yeah, you. thank you. Beautiful.